Hello. I'm kind of wearing the hoodie and the hat. <laughs> that wasn't exactly for you guys. But just uh, where I put the hat before I decided if I was going to put it on or not. Probably should have shown you around first, but I happened to see a, what I thought was a pretty good looking tripod there I'm up the top of the compost barn. Here's the other scout. Things. And, uh, I come up here and take in the sky. I've been quite ill for the last uh, most of three days, I guess. And uh, feeling uh, somewhat back to myself, although depleted and a bit dehydrated. I think those are perfect. And uh, it's a busy day today. But I did get myself up and about and tend to some people and tend to some things and I just thought I'd come out and take in the sky. This it's really held me all day. And uh, kind of left me sighing all day. It's a little cold out here and of course as soon as I climbed up somebody started chainsawing somewhere maybe a half mile away so we might have the delightful <laughs> extra reason to sigh sort of the eye roll kind of sigh but I was kind of thinking the sigh of just awe the AWE sigh and just looking at these clouds all day you might see in the background the iPad I'm not sure but the iPad's over there I took a long form video of the sky over the last few hours, so perhaps that came out. Uh, maybe I'll switch this to give you guys a view of the sky as well. See how that happens to work for you. You know, one never knows. It's a bit of railing and sky, maybe some on my shoulder. Now you are facing west ish. So I'm kind of up here at the level of the new buds on the trees. The ones that will become leaves and flowers soon. I'm kind of feeling that spring, even though it's very cold. There's a duck flying overhead. You know, it's very cold. I mean, it, it feels about 40. Even though I have thoughts of spring as I walked over here and saw some iris and crocus and tree leaves and so forth. But anyway, my mind has been in the sky all day. Maybe we'll have quite the sunset. I don't know. They say the sky's the limit. I think that's ridiculous. And what it does suggest creativity, newness. Does suggest the the home of substantial substantiveness, the insubstantial foundation of the substantial. So when I sigh, I think of settling into the earth. And I am settling into this stairway landing on the compost barn. But I'm well aware that I'm a couple stories up. 
and all my focus is on the sky as I'm lying on my back sharing a similar view as you and so the skies and the size kind of feel to me like yin and yang one settling condensing and one above and expanding and insubstantive you may hear that humming that's the compost blowing blower kicking on which I think lasts 30 seconds might be one minute So my meditation here is lying on my back to feel the front of myself open and the back of myself closed, where the front evaporate and the back condense. Feel the transubstantiation through the body. the frontal aspect softening, the dorsal aspect coagulating like the earth in the sky and then just feel my heart in the middle. Even though I'm shivering now, you might be hearing the wind chimes in that plane as well. And my meditation is to really feel the difference between the ventral and dorsal aspects and the heart in between the earth and the sky. The earth feeling as if it doesn't shift below me and the sky very much shifting and the angle of the light and the movement of the clouds and the birds and the bugs flying past my view. The earth, or in this case, the platform I'm on representing the earth, which of course is extended from the earth. Doesn't feel like it's changed at all, which is good. I don't want the platform to start changing while I'm on it. Thank you very much. But I'm not sure how well I described that as I'm still recovering. And I know, I know not where my mind is. Yeah, I think I'll keep it on the way I have it, which is silly, but it worked. Maybe I'll give you the little look around now. I just came out with my cup of tea to collect the the uh, iPad recording. There she is. There's some wood ducks in the pond. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's some buds in these trees. And there's a look at the pond and the ridiculous me there's some more ducks overhead a horse barn and there's where the sunset will be evident so i'm going to set this down and bow thank you